Hello, this is Matthew Pizgotti, and today we're going to be talking about batch files. Now, I do have an article up on survivingtech.com, which is where I'll probably embed this. And uh, we talked about batch files, but I wanted to go a little more in-depth with a video, um, kind of let you follow along that way, and really demonstrate what I'm talking about. So, a batch file is essentially a small program. And, uh, you know, it sounds complicated, programming, but it, you know, a lot of this we can, we can do, anyone can do. And it's really not that hard to learn some of the basic commands. And the easiest way to get started is to open up Notepad. When you have o Notepad open, um, this is just a little test file. We're going to enter at echo off. Now that just makes sure that um, it's not echoing everything. It's only echoing or printing or displaying the text that we want it to display our little program here um, and then when we do actually call echo it's going to display whatever text is after that and you can see these commands are just going in a sequential order um, then we have pause now pause is going to uh, force the user which is just us right now to press some sort of key before it jumps to the next step which is starting the program notepad now um, most programs actually require the full the full address of the program file in your computer but um, some some programs like a uh, notepad I believe outlook uh, calculator some of those you can just type the name in in all caps and it will start um, I'm starting it slash max which means it's going to be maximized when it does open up and then it's going to exit the application, which is going to not leave a little command prompt window hanging around. It's going to close our little program out. So what I'm going to do here is save this. Um, I'm actually going to save it on desktop. And you can see how um, amazingly I title some of my documents here. And we're going to go ahead and name this batch dot bat now um, so see what I did here I changed the file type to all types and I made sure to put dot bat on the end that signifies to the computer that it is a batch file we're gonna exit out of this and um, I'm gonna go ahead and find it on the desktop and drag it over for us now when I double click on this what's going to happen is that it's going to open this little dialog box. You can see our text here. Hello, this is a test batch file we're creating. That's the text that we had at echo. It wants me to press any key to continue. I'm going to press a random key. And Notepad actually opened Maximized. And I went ahead and closed it. Now let's say we want to edit our batch file further. We'll just right click and edit. And then we're back to where we started. We can save it and run it again. Now there's so much you can do with a batch file. This is just a, a basic example. Um, I'll go ahead and show you in the, in the next video part of this, but um, what I like to do, for instance, is when I sit down at a new job, I see everything that I need to start, all the different programs, and I program those into a batch file to run. So that way when I sit down at my computer in the morning, I can save me myself about five minutes by having the internet open with all of the tabs that I need open to the to the correct pages um, I have our key applications open I have Outlook open and uh, you know Excel for instance if it's something I work in daily and just like that with one double click all of my programs for the day are open and waiting and ready to go so that's just a few things we can do with the batch file um, hopefully that's been informative for you and you understand uh, some of the implications of how this could assist you in day-to-day -day in your in your uh, you know, office pursuits or it's just kind of a, an added skill to have. Um, past that, you know, this has been the basics of a batch file and I hope that's been informative. Stay tuned for the next part of this series which should be coming shortly. Comment down below if there's anything that wasn't explained properly. If you'd like to correct me on anything that I got wrong here which is bound to happen and I love to be corrected and learn new things. And go ahead and subscribe and keep your eye out for the next video. Thank you.